it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you some new treasures that I've got in the last week or so. So we'll go have a look at the books first. So there's the postcard set from the Netherlands from Julia Woning. Does all of those beautiful two fat ladies or fat ladies colouring books. She does animals and stuff as well but I really love these cuddly ladies that she does. They're so adorable. So lots of cute pictures in there and that's the set of postcards. Lovely little horizontal pack there. I got this book from Germany. Well it's a German colouring book and it's got this gorgeous little cover on it with little gems and little bunnies and hedgehogs and whatnot. So I thought that might be my cup of tea. But some of the pages have uh, pre-coloured on them so they've got like already coloured in leaves and whatnot. But usually I'm not too much of a fan of that. I don't mind it if it's uh, just a small amount but I'm not a fan of too much pre-printing on colouring books but it is super cute so I might be able to forgive it. So it's got some gorgeous little pictures in there super cute and they look gorgeous when they're coloured in so there's that one then I got some from Korea some I thought I had but when I was checking through my bookshelf sometimes I add things to the cart and then I forget to buy them so some of them I thought I had but I didn't so this one's got some great pictures in it so you've got the coloured inspirational image with your cute little kitty cat there and then you've got the line art and it's really fine and it's more like a, a you know a brown or a really dull black line on it and again horizontal pictures so super beautiful very very attractive pictures on this one and they look so gorgeous look at the little kids with the little phones So the title means something about sleep for memory. So yeah, there's that one. It really is lovely. And this cover's got like a little glossy sticker type thing on it. Then uh, there's this one, which I can't remember the name of now. It's still wrapped up in its plastic. And this one's got coloured images in it. God, they're beautiful, aren't they? All pastely pretty. And there we've got the line art. And this looks like how to colour it in, so a bit of technique there. And then we've got the line art. So it really is... It's very different, very very pretty, look at this gorgeous coloured image and this, so beautiful, very delicate, very pretty, So, and that's super thick too. So I've got this one, it's got the little lucky cat on it and that's like a little sticker. I think it's um, Invite to Tokyo, that's what it was. And again, it's a, a thick one. It seems pretty funny having a Korean book with Invite to Tokyo on it. But So it's got all these cute little lucky cats on there. Lots of lovely little cats. And single-sided pages too, which is nice. And that gorgeous image there. So that's Invite to Tokyo. This is just a really thin colouring book. So we've got that and then in here we got two, one, two, three little cards, so two coloured in and they're really thin, they're not thick paper at all, but it's cute that we've got one with the little line art on it and two that are already coloured, so it's like a little bonus. 
And then this has got a nice texture to it and actually feels thicker than what it actually is. And so again we've got coloured inspirational image over here and some line art. So it's gorgeous. It's a sort of very different sort of uh, lots of little districts and towns and whatnot. And very, very cute. So that one's not bad for just a small little book. And this one's obviously inspired by the kitty cat. So nice one there. And this one, I thought I had this one, but then I realised I didn't have it. So got it again, got lovely cover on it. Beautiful pink. Really nice images in here. Lots of gorgeous flowers. And the space on here to write. So single page illustrations, which is nice to see. So it's very cute. It's very, very cute. And I really like that they've done it single paged images. So there's that lovely one. And it's pretty thick too. Uh, so then I've got this one, uh, and I think I just bought this one as a, a one-off. I think it's got something to do with shoes, um, and there's lots of shoes there. I think it's called I Love My Shoes or something like that. So we've got that cute little image and cute little galoshes, lots of butterflies, young girls. It's got some really cute artwork in this book. Actually, I'm pleased I purchased it now. It was sort of a little bit of a, a one-off decision. But now, having seen it, I'm pretty happy with it. This reminds me of Hidden Nature, um, or another book that I've got. It's so very, very cute. And it seems to have a butterflies and, and sort of fashion frock theme to it but it's very very nice that one and then what else do I get oh here's an, another Alice in Wonderland book I actually thought I had this but again when I looked through my shelves I couldn't find it so I guess it's one that I, I put in my cart and think I've bought and then I forget and so we've got so many bunny pictures here and these are super cute so this is another one again that I'm happy that I bought it because we've got bunny and kitty and you know some really nice images in this book. So and I really love seeing all these different versions of Alice too. Some of them are a little bit too detailed for me but I still like looking at the pictures. I've even got some puppy dogs as well as that cute little Cheshire cat over there. So Alice in Wonderland. And then uh, the last one's this one, which I can't remember what it was called now, but it is lovely. And at the beginning it's got some little coloured images. That's really nice. I like it when they do that. I wish I could read what they said, but I kind of get the hint that they're just trying to inspire us with how it looks. And actually all of the images have a coloured inspirational image and they're on single-sided. So that is fabulous for someone like me that really can't choose colours and has no idea. So, so some nice images in that book too. It all says Jeju Island. I can't remember what the name of this book was. So. But some lovely images in there. And look at that yummy ice cream sundae. And it's very heavy too and sort of packed with images. So there's that one. Then I had to get these because Sandra was telling me on my Colouring Queen page how lovely and soft and creamy they are. So I thought I have to get those. So I picked these up from eBay, they are on special, so I've got the complete set of Spectrum Noir coloured pencils. 
which is fabulous. There's 24 in a set and they're all named, they're all different sets. So one's shading tone, one's the naturals, uh, one's the essentials, and they show you on the cover here, florals and then your primaries. So lots and lots there. So five times 24 pencils in the set. So I can't wait to open those up and review them. I think uh, Sarah in the Colouring Time forum was mentioning how she went down to Office Works and uh, got some goodies. And so I was uh, enabled by her and had to go down today and get some goodies myself. So she had these lovely little stripey pencils, which looked similar to the magic pencils that you get. And so a pack of four was on special for two dollars for those of you in Australia at Office Works. So four pencils, two dollars, and they've got these different colours on them. So they're giant too. They're huge. Um, so sort of a bit uncomfortable for my finger. And they're those magic pencils. So when you colour them, you're getting tints of different colours from the colours on there. So blues and greens and whatnot. So if you're in Australia and you wanted something um, like the Koenor magic pencils, you could buy those for two dollars and sort of test them out and see if you liked them. And so this one's got like pinks and yellows. And you can see on the the lead there. And then we've got the green one. I wish they had more colours. They've only got four colours. So you can turn it around and get like the orange or the pink. And then there was the green one. So I bought a few packets of those because they're only two dollars. And it looks like they were running out so I didn't want to miss out. And I uh, wish that I'd bought more so. And I think uh, Hubby convinced me that I should have more. And she also bought one of these Posca pens, which is glitter. I hadn't seen that before, so when I went down there, I seen that they've now got Posca in glitter, in yellow, red, pink, green, blue, dark blue, but no black, which I thought was a bit odd, because black, you know, is sort of the normal colour that we would use a lot. So it comes out super easy and it's got this lovely glitter on there. So that's going to be lovely for some night skies or something like that. Very cool. Thank you, Sarah, for recommending that. And of course, another gel pen. And um, that same brand that makes those little stripey pencils also had some highlighters on special. And these were only a dollar for three of them. So bargain. And the good thing about these highlighters is so they're retractable so they push in and out like an old pen is that you can often use the highlighter underneath colour pencils so even just your normal yellow highlighters and whatnot and then it'll make it easier to colour in over it so that's pretty good. Glad I got those you can always always use highlighters. I had these liquid chalk markers by the same company on special for only $2. So they came home with me as well. So I thought that they might look nice in my um, chalk colouring book. But I haven't used these before so I'm not too sure if they would work in a colouring book. And you've got to sort of shake it up a little bit in order to release it, but I was thinking that that might look all right on one of those chalkboard colouring books that I've got, so see how that looks in the actual book. Then uh, the same company also had these highlighter pencils on, special, so they're just like neons, if you don't have neons in another set of pencils, these were only a dollar for um, five of them. So you can get those. And again, they often look all right just as a highlight on something else, or especially in books with a black background on them. 
So again, if you're in Australia, they, they're only a dollar at office works at the moment. Um, what else? Some more stripy pencils. Same brand also had a special on these gel pens. So you can always use silver and gold and black gel pens. They're always handy. And of course, Hubby talked me into getting some twistable crayons because they were also on special. So I think I meet the age requirement on that one. And then the same company had a special on washable markers. And I had some of these washable markers by another company. They sort of all dried out. So for $3, these were the bargain of the day, I think. And they go on very easy. So 10 of those in a packet for 3 bucks. Then the other week I bought from the art shop these Mikador watercolours. I think Mikador own Koenor. And so they're very similar to the Koenor products. And I've used them a little bit, as you can see. I was super impressed about how vibrant they were. Because I haven't used uh, watercolours in pans before. I've only ever used um, pencils. So I was really impressed how good and how vibrant these colours were from Mikador and they were sort of pretty inexpensive. So I sent Hubby back up to Officeworks to buy me the 36 set, which has got these little pans in it and it was $15 with uh, a little brush included as well. And you can also buy these uh, if you don't live in Australia from the Mikador uh, website. And if you don't have an office works near you, you can also buy them in Australia from the Mikador website as well. I've got to say the Koenor products, um, it's probably cheaper to buy them somewhere else rather than from the Mikador website. And if you're near an office works, the Mikador website is actually dearer than office works. They must get a, um, a discount, you know. So you get a little paintbrush, and then you've got these lovely little colours, 36 of them for $15. Now they're pretty well the same size as these little pans as well. They're pretty well the same size. Come in this lovely set. If you don't want the 36, I think you can get them in 12 and 24, but 36 I think was the maximum. So very pretty, and for $15, not a bad bargain. For that amount of colours plus the way it folds over here you could you know mix your colours on this side as well so you don't need to buy another little pan and then uh, just clean that up and they've got lovely you know colour to them for like an inexpensive set of watercolours if you just wanted to see if you liked it or not so not bad and that's it that's all my little stash for the last 10 days or so so these little ones that i purchased they fit together in a little daisy wheel like that that was the little brilliant watercolors and that was the 12 set but if i'd known about this set first of all this is the one that i would have bought really handy little packet that it's in comes with a little water brush then uh, all my cute little things from Yubi and I really don't know how this company does it so cheap I mean a dollar three dollars two dollars for those a dollar for those I think these might have been three dollars a dollar and two dollars for those so all of those great little things from Yubi and the Posca Glitter Range, I think that is super cool. I really hope they bring out that in a black. That would be great. And you always got to have some crayons. And it's always nice to have some new pencils as well. So, oh, and plus, of course, the books. So that's it for my little uh, haul, colouring stash, stationery, and some art products. Until next time, happy colouring.